Well, the simple version of that is I went to, uh, when I went to the United States, I went to public school, I went to high school. Majority of the people around me were non-Muslims. Actually, I didn't know any Muslim for the first two years, or first year of high school, I didn't know any Muslims. And um, the environment is completely different, the language is completely different, and you uh, just a natural tendency for a young person is to try to fit in. And of course, the thing that makes me different from everybody else is Islam. As a matter of fact, because you have five days of public school, even on Fridays you don't take time off to go to Jumu'ah. I didn't. I didn't pray Jumu'ah for t two years when I was in high school. So slowly you start making friends, and all of my friends are non-Muslims, and of course if they're non-Muslims, their lifestyle and everything about them is, has nothing to do with religion. And so I start adopting, you know, what they, what they do, and you know, my parents don't expect me to change, so I, have, I was kind of someone else at home and someone else when I left home for school. I think to this day, and I, I don't think it's just in America. I think that a lot of these values that we hold dear in Islam, they're not even promoted enough or properly enough, even in Muslim society. I used to think before I traveled outside of the U.S. that what I went through is something is specific to me. It doesn't happen to other people. As a matter of fact, it's happening to millions of people even today. You know, and I, I, uh, a point came where you know you feel guilty when you're living a life that is against the teachings of your religion. And you hate feel, nobody likes to feel guilty. So eventually you have to decide, either you're going to accept the religion, or you're going to, you don't want to feel guilty anymore, and you just get rid of the thing that makes you feel guilty. Just kill your conscience and just do what you want to do. And that's the road I chose to take at one point. It reminds me of a hadith, المرؤ على دين خليله فلينظر أحدكم من يخالد. I was completely away from Islam, um, even early on in college. And I happened to meet, you know, uh, I just happened to meet this young person who was putting up a flyer for the Muslim Student Association. And I asked him what that was about. And I thought, you know, if it's a Muslim Student Association, they must have the best parties. Because they, they must get Muslims from all the countries at their parties. So I asked him, do you guys party? And he said, yeah, yeah, we party. <laughs> so, but when I went, it was just these two guys, and they're discussing something about the Quran or something. I thought, this is not a place for me. But these guys were really nice to me. And they started spending time with me, they were giving me rides home, and slowly but surely, I still wasn't praying or anything, but one day, you know, one of, one of those friends, he just pulled over to pray. And I just felt bad and I prayed just because he was there. And I just got a taste of it, and before I knew it, I was praying five times a day again and relearning how to pray. I didn't even remember how many raka'ah there were in Maghrib, and what do you recite, you know, when you sit in Qur'ud. I had to go through all of that over again. But I did, alhamdulillah, and it's, I attribute it entirely, Allah made my friends a way to do that. One of the most important messages I think that benefited me, that I hope other Muslims can benefit from is, number one, there's nobody who's hopeless. Because you know, if you saw me in college, and you were, you were religious, and you just came out of salat, and you saw me walk by in high school, you would look at me and say, astaghfirullah al-azim, look at these people. You know, I was one of those guys. But then somebody decided not to judge me, and just, Think of me as just a human being who has some goodness in them, you know? And we have to do that for other people. We have to have some patience with them in giving them Islam, you know? And it's not going to happen overnight. And this, this brother that I'm talking about, one of my best friends in life, he never actually gave me da'wah to Islam. He never actually told me to pray. He never told me about the Quran. Hafiz Quran, wala ma'arif. I had no idea. And he, you know, he's the one that, uh, just through his company, little by little by little, and it was a good year-long process that he did this with me for. Subhanallah, that I came towards uh, the deen. Allah nur al-samawat wal-ard. Allah nur al-samawat wal-ard. الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد من شجرة مباركة زيتونة زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم ولو لم تمسس نار نور على نور نور على نور يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء يهدي الله لنوره يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء
يضرب الله الأمثال للناس والله بكل شيء عليم